Now, marijuana can be an expensive habit. Mm -hmm. Have you ever calculated how much you spend on it on your personal use? Maybe in a month? In a month? Yeah. Five, ten thousand. You were open about you used to spend ten thousand a month on weed? It's on drugs. <sighs> on drugs. Lean, Percocet, weed. Then every other week I, I see myself spending like ten thousand. I, I don't want I don't I don't want no little shit. When, I, when I'm buying it, I'm buying it out. And that shit ain't cheap. That lane shit ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna say I really appreciate the, the love and But when the world like the world on drugs and I look mighty damn fine. I used to have that white white one side on up all that. Famous Dice music echoed across the globe, drawing a global audience seemingly unstoppable on his way to the top. However, the shadow of his downfall cast by addiction and physical assault became the force that would unravel his journey. Join me as we go over his upcoming, the beast that shaped him, and the reason behind his unfortunate downfall. Before I start the video, if you struggle from any type of addiction, seek help immediately. Drugs only serve as a distraction, and I genuinely don't want to witness my supporters facing challenges like that in the future. But with that being said, let's continue. Growing up, Dex was born on September 6, 1993 in Harlem, New York, but was raised in Inglewood, the south side of Chicago. This area was home to several famous Chicago drill rappers like Chief Keef, Fredo Santana, Lil Reese, and Lil Durk, and he even lived five blocks from Sosa. Growing up, Dex was cool with Lil Durk during high school. According to Durk, he was different from the Dex we know today. Did you ever see him in the hallway? Yeah. What kind of kid was he in high school? He's cool. He's cool. He always been like, y'all going. I mean, my image today is different from how it was high school. It is different. Yeah. What's different about it? High school, it was more regular. Like, he different. Like, um, hair. He always did, like, tests and shit like that. But, like, the way he act. I don't remember being off, like, girls and shit like that. Oh, he was more calm. Yeah, he was more calm. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. He had a rough childhood in Chicago, it was a challenge, but this wouldn't hold him back. He was stabbed five times before and he started hooping and at the age of nine, he had a passion for basketball. It would help him keep his head straight till he got dragged into the streets at the age of 13. He started selling drugs and robbing to get his money. I'm just playing ball. Okay. I'm just playing ball. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just from Chicago. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in the streets. I think I ain't got dreads no more. Yeah. I'm God, it's pretty good. He was growing up in the Robert Taylor housing projects outside of the city, but he was still listening to New York artists like Biggie, Nas, Big L, and a lot more. Dex would eventually start making music and he would make Chicago drill type music. Cause around that time, Chicago drill started buzzing. He was said to have been a GD as well as his brother. He graduated high school, but once he turned 17, everything would change. When his close friend Lil Jojo passed away, he met another rapper in the city who went by the name King Lil J. They started recording songs together and they were locked in. They also started beefing, but we'll get into that later in the video. Dex started dropping music and getting views. Dex was cool with people like FBG Duck, but would later work with artists like Chief Key. Both those artists weren't on good terms, but that didn't matter to Dex. We had a conversation? Yeah, like, we, was good. we had a conversation. I'm like, I, 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 I said, like, what's the fuck? I said, what you want, bro? He said, shit. I said, we got to the studio. I gave my number and shit. That's it. Yeah, he hit you since? No, we ain't. Well, I gave him, I think, in a row number to the 6 3 number something like shit. Dex wasn't involved too deeply with the streets, as in like he wasn't crashing out and wasn't really with the politics, but would get into something deeper later on in his career. Before Dex was even famous, he went by Black Migo Dex. He was posting music under that name and he was getting views, but it wasn't anything crazy. When he switched his name to Famous Dex, that's when he would start popping off. He started posting consistently and started to see progress. Like I said earlier, early Famous Dex basically consisted of a Chief Keef inspired sound and flow, which made sense because he was in Chicago, but he would later switch it to his own unique flow which we're going to be talking about later in the video so stay tuned he was still dropping music consistently like this man dex was really putting in the work and it would pay off he dropped a song called drip for my walk <laughs> And that got even more people onto his music. He finally got some mainstream attention, but it wouldn't be till 2016 when everything would change. He unfortunately lost his mother due to cancer and even got a tattoo in her honor. You have a lot of tattoos. Um, you got a lot of tattoos on your face everywhere. Um, what was the very first tattoo you got? My mama name on that. Uh, my mama. No, yeah, my baby. I got it right on my neck. Hell yeah. Got my mama name and she like, boy, wait, I'm getting a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo. Shit, why are you tripping? Yeah. What's the most important tattoo on your body? Breast cancer, 
cast a motherfucker, bro. You feel me? Especially the press cast for these ladies. You feel me? You feel me? That's a motherfucker, bro. When your um, when your mom was diagnosed, did uh, she tell you right off the bat? Mm-hmm. She told me, and we had we had we had a talk. Me, her, my brother, sister, and she always told us, just stick together. You feel me? Always stick together. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Stick together, and everything gonna be cool. And you watch over them. And that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Dex started smoking and doing drugs. Wait, hold on. Is that famous Dex? Yeah, bro. Dexter. Is that famous Dex? Yo, comment if I'm wrong. Comment if I'm wrong. Dexter. Dexter. Boat would get help from another Chicago drill artist, Millionaire Black. Him and his mom took Dex in. He would continue doing what he does the best and dropped even more music. He would get some crazy cosigns and even signed to Rich the Kid's label, Rich Forever. And around that time, Rich the Kid had more clout than Famous Dex. He kept posting music and working with Lyrical Lemonade. He dropped Told You, which is around the time he moved from Chicago to LA. Rich the Kid was actually the one who flew Dex out. People speculated that this was when he really came up and his whole flow and style changed. Dex was moving like a superstar, living the American dream. Dex had one goal and it was to bring the fun and hip hop. He dropped on crazy and after this he was signed with 300 EMT which was associated with the Rich Forever label. But Dex eventually dropped Rich Forever. He was still being consistent and dropped a song called OK Dexter and it blew up. And this helped him get to where he's at around that time. This man Dexter was one of the most consistent rappers in my opinion. People thought Dex was going to stay here for good. Everything was going good till it wasn't. Footage was released of Dex hitting his girl and destroying a phone. And what's even crazier is this wouldn't be the only time. This caused people not to mess with Famous Dex no more and even ruin big opportunity. He even got denied from being involved in the double XL. You know, a lot over the Famous Dex situation. Mm. Who's gonna blow up? And I think that'll be a challenge for him. And I'm just talking candidly and honestly because I don't know how else to deal with him. Yeah, we know. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. He's a nice guy and he's spoken on it definitely, but it's hard to say that's gonna be the next thing. That's gonna, you're gonna be huge and blow up when you still kind of have that when people Google you. Right. And uh, that's unfortunate and I... It's a screwed up situation across the board that people want to talk about it, but it is what it is, you know? Dex did respond and he said this. That's why I didn't make double XL because that video of my girl. Bitch, she, she still with me. Damn. At least you could have said congratulations on your son in the interview, bitch. I don't get no fuck. I don't get no fuck about no double XL now. I'm gonna get disrespectful. Hold on. Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. Bitch, you just have my son. Fuck you talking about you fat bitch. Damn. At least you could have said congratulations on your son. Oh my son. I'm gonna go crazy. Dex just responded saying that she was fine and that he was just tripping because she cheated on him But now they were all good Dex brushed it off and started dropping even more music Because he was not about to go give up on his dreams Even though he was getting a lot of hate Eventually people ended up forgetting about it So you were either rocking with him or you weren't But minus this happening, Dex had a pretty good year for 2016 Dex always had a drug problem, but the bigger he got, the bigger the problem became. He went on Say Cheese and said that he spent $400,000 on lean and $10,000 on weed every month. Dex would still be dropping music and even drop with Soulja Boy. But they ended up beefing, and this wasn't the only beef that Dex was involved in, but we'll get into that later. Better stop playing with me, nigga. Better ask my little brother, little 100, nigga. We put famous Dex on, pussy ass nigga. You fuck, nigga. You a bitch, boy. You ain't real, boy. You bite the hand and feed you, nigga. That's why you ain't making it to the XXL cover. Fuck, nigga. Now stop playing with me, nigga, before I call Tato. Nigga, don't tweak with me, nigga. I got ten times more money than famous Dex ever will have, nigga. On my mama. Dex, hey, Dex, you a bitch, nigga. If you got a problem with it, come see me, nigga. I'll beat your ass, boy. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. You pussy, nigga. Go YouTube, so the way famous Dex, nigga. Lock of films, nigga. I was the first nigga to put famous Dex on when you came to LA. Then you went to Sean Kicks the house. You was living at Sean Kicks the house. You broke ass little nigga. Then you went to sign with Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid? Rich the Kid used to sleep on my couch. How the fuck you go sign with a nigga that you more popping than? Yo, famous Dex, yo, eat a dick, little nigga. And when you see me, nigga, I'ma knock your fucking teeth out your mouth, boy. You know you can't beat me in no fight, crackhead ass little nigga. I'm big soldier, boy. I'm a CEO. You can fuck a famous dicks, pussy ass little nigga. And I said that, nigga. Big soldier said that, boy. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, look, when I see you, get your chain back. You ain't gonna do shit. Get on my mommy, you ain't gonna do shit. Hey, I'm gonna get on my mommy, you ain't gonna do shit. No, get on my mommy, you ain't gonna do shit. What? Ho, you ain't gonna do shit. What? Ho, ass. Why you ain't gonna do shit? What? Hey, when I see you, I got your bitch ass up. I got your bitch ass up. I got your bitch ass up. 
you a hoe. Nigga, your mama a hoe. Nigga, what's happening? You a hoe. Fuck, nigga. You a crackhead, nigga. You a junkie, nigga. I'm gonna take the fuck out you. Get your bitch ass up. Pull your bitch ass up, nigga. 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 Pull
and then you come back home at four something in the morning and you decide to go live but what do you think was it no sleep or the drugs but i remember hearing it might have been promo for the song that was playing in the background while he was falling asleep on live which if it was my son dex is a marketing genius there were still people worrying about him dex was really him at the peak of his career till the label got a hold of dex and started taking it into their own hands the label is now in control of when dex could post music and this caused him not to drop as frequently as he did before in september 2019 famous dex suffered from a seizure during the show in la people really thought this was it for dex but the man above made sure dex was safe dex had so many opportunities but addiction always seemed to be getting in the way in 2019 he wasn't really popping that much and people started saying that he was going to fall off his 2019 wasn't any better than the end of his 2018 he tried to log back in and started posting consistently but the music wasn't getting much success he dropped a song and his supporters said that dex was mumbling and sounded like he was on drugs after this he would post that he was going to quit doing drugs once again but after this he dropped more music and the fans were rocking with the music but the numbers weren't the same he made a song with wiz khalifa which was pretty cool he kind of just laid back and took a break to get his message straight it looked like he was actually done with drugs for good but unfortunately that wouldn't be the case <laughs> A video came out of Dex getting sucked back into addiction, sipping and popping pills. Around this time, he was trying to make another comeback after his break, basically doing what he was doing before. 2020 came around and he was having legal problems because he had another incident with his girl that caused a swat to pop out. Allegedly, what happened was that him and his girl were arguing and it turned physical. Dex was seen armed, which caused the SWAT team to pull up. Then they had to stand up. Later on, he was sentenced to 364 days in jail for domestic violence and a gun charge. He got released and went straight to rehab and revealed that he didn't do any drugs anymore and he was 11 months sober. Your skin is cold, your eyes, look, your eyes look good, man. I'm, Everything. I'm not doing drugs no more. I've been drug clean for 11 months. I'm happy. Help Yeah, and, and I'm sure it's not easy. It's always something that you gotta work on, but I wanna say this, man. Look, let these people see, see your eyes, man. Look at this, man. The clarity, bro. Like, I know what you went through, bro. And I, I, you know, I'm gonna fan. So I wanna say this, man. Congratulations, because I just heard you signed a big ass deal. Big deal, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, that's what's up, dog. Hey, that's the message you have for people that feel like they're done. The journey's done, but it's just, it's, it's just not. Keep God first and never forget where you come from. Keep God first. Always keep God first. I almost forgot to mention the friendship between Rich the Kid and Famous Dex. Rich and Dex were pretty close. You have somebody like, like Rich, a motherfucker that's going to gas you the right way to be in the work and save up. Like I said, if you, have, if you get a motherfucker that, that tell you, like, hey, bro, say, bro, you know what, bro, no, we ain't going to do this, bro, go, go, go put that up. If motherfucker tell you to say something, this motherfucker want you to have something. That's real talk, but I don't care for my OG. So don't say, no, nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Look, we going to do this this way, and we go, and we go, and we go, go crazy. Look, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, listen. Wayne, sign Drake. Look at Drake and Wayne. People stop playing with me, bro. I don't play, bro. I'm a dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? We here for destruction. Yeah, destruction, motherfucker. I see it. We just destruction shit. Rich Halloway. Real chicks. We just having, we having, we having fun with what we do. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we motivate each other. Rich the Kid flew Dex out to LA and him moving to LA was really when he started blowing up. Dex went live before going off on Rich and it wouldn't be the only time. I'm not Rich Halloway. Nigga, you don't see no, that, that shit dead, bro. Lame ass nigga, nigga. You lame, bro. You the type of nigga on my son. I want to see a nigga win. Nigga's gay. How you want to see your, a nigga that you changed your life win? Why? If I sign an artist and he got independent, you know what I be doing? <laughs> popping champagne bottles. I'm popping bottles. No, this, no I'm, I'm speaking real facts. I'm speaking real facts. I swear to God, my son, I cannot make this up. And I'm done off this last shit because I don't really do that shit, but hey, Richard Kid, stop playing me before I smack your ass when I see you on my dead mama. <laughs> I'm not giving Rich the full credit Cause Dex is talented and he did put in the work There would be for love The last beef they had was when Dex said that Rich was going to sell their album And wasn't going to give Dex and Jay their cut I'm not Rich forever I am signed to 300 Rich the kid selfish ass is trying to sell Rich forever 4 You're not trying to get me and Jay Chris shit You don't do shit for me and Jay Chris You're you, you hollering about 300 bro I don't even get on the internet Rich the kid, I love you I appreciate everything you did for me but you're selfish, bro. You're selfish. And my mama go ahead and make the world know right now. You are a selfish ass nigga, bro. That's why shit happened the way it happened to you, bro. Real talk. 
Riz said that Dex was just too high all the time and mad about his album not being released. Three days later, they were best friends again. It sounded good for the video, but despite their struggles in their friendship, Rich would always help him when he needed help. I want you to have a crazy summer, man. Like, I feel like the game, the game needs balance. I feel like you're, you're part of that balance. Absolutely. Um, like you said, more positive energy. Everybody's all angry in the industry now and mad and want to kill and shoot and ops and smoking on a pack. And, and you got too and, much of that. And, and, you, and, you, and, and, and Sean, I'm going to tell you why, why they mad and why they only can say that. You know why? Because the girl's taking over the fucking rap game. Shout out, to, shout out to the females, man. I really, shout out to the females, man. Y'all taking over the rap game, man. I salute y'all, queen. Shout out to y'all. Absolutely, man. Salute y'all, baby. Yeah. Look. It's over! <laughs> Yo, congratulations on your 300 deal. Thank you, uh, Thank you. Is that, that's a new deal? That's, yes, 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 yes. It's, it's, a, it's, a new, it's a new deal. He even took Dex to rehab in a private jet to make sure that he was straight. Rich would stay loyal to Dex. I'm not going to be going into their friendship as much because this video is about Dex, not Rich. This trio recently came back to bless and dropped their song called Big Dog featuring Jay Critch. It's it did pretty good but with dex coming back it had rappers like king yellow throwing shots at dex and so did lil j the reason lil j and dex were beefing was because when lil j was locked up dex didn't help him out with any bread which made jay lose respect for dex fuck niggas they ain't been with me all this time they ain't gonna beat me now period you're saying you didn't get a uh, a red penny they didn't send you anything no yeah, no i'm not a burning penny because i mean when you were locked up a lot of your a lot of your friends was getting these big deals you know yeah. from from dex to you know they was spending that shit on themselves when the fake ass jewelry they went. Shit on drugs, hoes, fake jewelry, and cheap designer. You know, when I talked to famous Dex about it, I remember this interview had to be like six years ago. He said, um, he said, Sean, I, I want to help him, but I'm not a millionaire. I'm still an up and coming rapper. Man, this ass had that bread in. He's supposed to give me like 10,000 one time. Had my OG pull up on his block over there. Oh, bro, stop answering the phone and shit. Like, come on, man. You, you, you fucked up, just say that, homie. Um. You ain't gotta do that to impress me or something. If you ain't got it, or I ain't asked for the motherfucking handouts, man. Dex and Yellow were beefing Cause according to Yellow He said that Dex left his friends he grew up with And say he isn't real He was also calling famous Dex a meth head And said that he does hit on Yellow would even make a whole song calling him famous meth head The boy think he's slick Hold up Whoa, what are those, bruh? Everything, why? Cause God don't like ugly You a fucking goofy You ain't got no bottom teeth You like an old grandma Hey, baby Hey, Shiloh <laughs> Where's your teeth at? Baby trying to do the interview, man huh? And hide it with a mask on. Where's uh, your teeth? His ass smoke meth. What else make your teeth leave? Like that? You think that's why he lost his teeth? Famous meth head like my song, man. Oh, I swear man. to God. What else? Ain't nobody punch his teeth out. He still got two hanging right here. Ain't nobody gonna punch over there and punch over here. No, that ain't what happened. He's smoking that famous meth. He's smoking meth early <laughs> Sunday night, <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> Dex did release his own documentary. I'll leave it linked in the description down below so you can watch it. He goes in on his upcoming, his point of view. So y'all can check that out. And while you're down below, you might as well follow my Instagram. I feel like Dex should be smart with his money. Because once you get money and start buying things with no value, you go broke quicker than it took to get it. Well, for most of us. But do what you gotta do with that information. The current state of famous Dex's career basically seems like he's trying to make a comeback. He dropped a song and a music video shot by Lyrical Lemonade. So it's nice to see him reunite and drop some heat i seen on ig he bought his girl a twelve thousand dollar ring and he also thought he was performing at the super bowl but jokes aside i'm really glad to see he's alive and doing well people got to learn to stop taking this life for granted but i do want to know what you think about this do you think dex has a chance to make a comeback and take over it was like fuck it i do that still plays and still plays and still plays all right. Let's, just, let's be real, especially in, in the life you're living in right now. Look at that money you learn in that pocket. I mean, like, like I said, one thing I learned about rich, but he told me to say that money. You know what I'm saying? You know, listen is a skill. And some people ain't very good at that. <laughs>